Aries, welcome back to your channel. This is going to be your no contact read for the night. Now, if you guys are here for your first time, welcome. And if you are returning back to the channel, welcome back. You know you're a diamond. Please go ahead and shine beautiful and shine bright like a diamond. Now, I'm going to get into a prayer, you guys. For those of you that don't know, on this channel we do pray, okay? So, we're going to get into that. Tap into your energy and pull in your no contact energy. Heavenly Father, as I go before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel. Giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share. The ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, so Aries, this reading is a general and not a personal reading. Take what you serious, lead the rest. Send it back to the universe what didn't serve you. Cross watchers, please do the same. Personal reading is available on the channel. My hands are white, y'all. <laughs> Listen, it is 2 a.m. in the morning, okay? Maybe 2.15 by now. All right, so take what's yours, leave the rest. Roles could be reversed. All right, let's see what's the message here. Okay, I will also be attaching another read to this one, you guys. So stay tuned for that at the end, okay? Um, actually, I'm doing that in mostly all your reads right now. So be sure that you can stay at the end. There's always another read attached. All right, what's the message here for the no contact? What is it that I need to share with Aries at this time? What's the message for Aries at this time for the no contact energy, please? What's the message? What's the message here, please? Okay. All right, I feel like for some of you guys, your no contact is having me feel like you're either feeling depleted or you're either feeling like something is either unbalanced or off with you right now. The Empress in the reverse. Yeah, there's definitely a feeling of someone here. Someone is making you feel this way. The Knight of Swords. This person is blocked. I do feel like you're about to block this person or this could be them that has blocked you or somebody might have gotten ghosted here. No contact energy is telling me that there's something that needs to be resolved here. You're either praying or wishing or hoping that something will change here. Something is going to change, but I'm hearing for some of you it might not be a situation that you're going to be happy with. Clarify the Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Empress, please. In the reverse. What is the Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Empress in the reverse, please? For the no contact energy, someone may not be there right now. What is it? What's the message? What's the message? Please clarify this, please. Please clarify the no contact. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups here. All right, so whatever is happening here, I'm hearing that someone either wants to have a fresh start here. Someone wants to either regain or re re kind of tap into the, your energy and kind of pull trust in again. For some of you, you may have lost a spark or this could be them. But someone wants to rebuild something, wants to regain something here, wants to love you again. Or this could be you that wants to love this person all over again. I'm hearing unconditional love here. Someone is about wanting to fill your cup or fill in your cup with love or manifesting love in your cup here. For some of you though, because you feel, you feel like this person might not have been given, there's no contact is telling me that this person wants to try again. Tell me more. Know that the roles could be reversed. This could be you as well. Okay, so we have the four cups here. All right, so for some of you guys, it's either feeling of boredom or you're kind of feeling unstable or unsteady. This person may be coming in halfway here. I feel like love may have been shattered by trust. Someone may be drinking or partying or attaching other energies to yours here. Um... I feel like whatever is going on right now, you're definitely not happy with it. You're not happy with it. You don't want to be a part of it. Um, for some of you, somebody might be dragging you into a situation that you really don't feel comfortable in. For some of you, I'm hearing drinking. Someone may be drinking a lot. Doing random stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the two of swords. 
So there's definitely no communication here, okay? Whatever is going on with your person and yourself and whatever is happening and why you're feeling like you're not able to communicate with this person is because this person is attached to others that is not sitting well with you, not sitting right. It's causing conflicts here. It's causing miscommunication. It's, cause, it's causing somebody's either feeling awkward. You're either feeling like, like you have to prove yourself to this person here. Yeah, you have, you're have you thinking about walking away here. You're either thinking about walking away or something, okay? The Six of Swords, you're making the decision that you're moving forward here. What's the Six of Swords? What is the Six of Swords? The Page of Cups, yeah. So you're taking back your power, you're taking back your peace. The no contact is having me feel like whatever you're moving away for, from, you're moving into something else. You want to move into something. You're making a decision or a choice to move in. Even though it's difficult, it's very difficult, but I'm hearing you're either leaving your heart behind here because there's definitely love here with this person. But this manifestation is needed more than ever. And I'm hearing that it's happened to Queen of Cups. You're giving yourself a lot. You're giving yourself all that you can. You're wanting to take care of you now. You want to manifest in you the Eight of Pentacles. You're still hoping that this person will change. Or this could be them how they feel about you. This is who you really want to be with. What is the Queen of Cups? Okay. So we have the Eight of Wands here. The Eight of Wands. The Seven of Cups. So I feel like there's someone here that, that's either way in their option. They're thinking that something might be better out there. It's not sitting well here. With this page of cups been here? Mm-mm. <laughs> that's not... That's... Mm -mm. you're not feeling that especially where there's conflicts here there's a lot of conflicts right at this point you're feeling like you're, you're not either benefiting anything from the circle of friends or whatever is coming through as unhealthy somebody's meeting is either taking i'm hearing court papers being filed because of um, um, someone may have mistreated your judgment or mistreated or taking your kindness for weakness here the nine of cups there's nothing coming in at this point with this no contact. Someone is feeling either broken or shattered here. What is the Seven of Cups? Clarify the Seven of Cups, please. What's the Seven of Cups? Okay, so somebody's about to come to towards some money here. I'm hearing there's money that's coming in. Somebody either has either prayed or manifested this money. For some of you, maybe have been doing some kind of a ritual here to come across this money that is coming in. Something is coming in. Something is coming in in abundance here, but you're going to have to be smart because we have a nine of pentacles that's stuck in the reverse here. I feel like for some of you already know the answers that you need to move forward with. We have the four of wands, the four, four of swords here. It's just something that's drastic here. That's forcing you to make a choice or a decision because we have the ten of wands in the, in the reverse, you guys. Okay? The ten of wands in the reverse and the temperance in the reverse. Overworked and overburdened here. Taking on a lot of the financial responsibility. This is what I'm seeing here. There's a decision that's coming in as the eight of cups. Okay? I feel like for some of you, you need to know that there's something better out there. Why am I hearing that somebody doesn't need to be settling? Someone is either trying to settle for something here that doesn't need to be settled for. And this is why your Empress cards did show in the reverse. Yeah, we have this, the, the Five of Swords here. So this is a major betrayal or a disaster or whatever that you might feel that might have happened to you. Um, There's a lot of conflicts here. People shouting and screaming and yelling back and forth. Um, and nothing is getting resolved here. There may be children in the entire situation that is hurting with the strength card also being in the reverse. Ooh. I feel like 
somebody's either feeling weak or broken or torn here. Clarify this. Clarify this. Uh, four of swords. Oh, look at that. All the cards came out. All right. Hmm. The ten of wands in the reverse once again. So there's a feeling of being overburdened and overwhelmed. But angels are rectifying the situation. The three of pentacles. Or right, somebody's thinking about not moving forward anymore as far as money's concerned. Maybe you've tried something and kind of failed here. And someone may be taking it really hard. Whatever one might have failed about, whatever the situation is where you feel like there's a feeling of fail or being a failure here. Someone is either getting ready to pack and walk away or trying to pack or just sitting there feeling stuck or lonely or or, or, or about to lose their their home, their car, their possession, but still hoping that love will come in and rescue them. This is what I'm seeing. For some of you, maybe even drinking or doing something to kind of um, suppress what you're feeling here with this Eight of Cups being here. What is the Eight of Cups? What is the Eight of Cups? No contact energy. What is this Eight of Cups? Someone wants something to manifest, but you can't force it. The strength in the reverse. The Eight of Cups pull in the strength in the reverse, you guys. The Five of Wands. You're healing from conflicts here. Situation that has you feel like it's never ending. Crazy situation that have you feel like it's never ending. Um, and your strength has been like, you feel like you ain't got no strength to fight anything anymore. You feel like your back is against the wall. This is what I'm seeing. What is the, the five of ones in the reverse? The five of ones in the reverse as this person, somebody's watching you, stalking you, spying on you, whatever that is. Right? There's an energy or force that's coming in as um don't come any closer. Don't come any closer because the five of cups is also here. This person's feeling shame, very embarrassed here. Somebody's feeling embarrassed. If this is not you, then this is them. The six of pentacles. There's nothing coming anymore. You've given all that you can, you can't give anymore. The seven of swords. You know contact is putting the seven of swords in. Major disaster. Some is either dealing with um, a mask with Warner that's causing these conflicts here. Or with the lovers card and the five of pentacles being here. No, honey. It's a hell no. All right. Um, deceit. All right. This could be a third party situation that is connected to the lovers card, which is very toxic. This 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 third party person may even be indulging into spell work or black magic situation here. Uh, this is definitely causing a lot of conflicts here. Something is connected here. Tell me more. What is the five of pentacles? What is what is the five of pentacles? What is the five of swords here? And the lovers in the reverse. The four of pentacles. This person will never change. They won't change. The death, the ace of swords, and the and the queen of pentacles, the queen of wands. So you're manifesting your power here. Um, but some of you could be attached to a, a Leo, or this is you. I'm hearing that it's, something is coming that needs to change. Trusting your intuition here, moving forward here, fighting for what you want, knowing that you can set things into stone here. Something needs to come to an end or it already is by someone who's made it come to an end. The hermit. Clarity. Somebody's searching for clarity, searching for answers still. Even though the clarity that you seek is right there, simply by using your intuition, it's right on. This person's energy is not coming in at this point with the no contact. This person is either in a permanent set separation or this is how you see them being permanent. The two of ones, the two of cups in the reverse. The moon. Someone is still hoping here. But falling short. Hmm. I feel like for some of you guys, you're either wanting to kind of separate yourself from this entire situation here with this two of wands being here in the reverse, but someone is afraid of fear, a fear of change. What is the two of wands in the reverse? What's the two of wands in the reverse?
What's the two of wands in the reverse, please? All right. All right, the King of Pentacles. So there's new love that's coming and that's ready to fight for you. This person sees you as the happy ending or this could be you. All right, so you're healing, all right, from some kind of a pain or devastation or whatever that could be. All right, that has caused you to kind of um, fall short into really knowing your worth, into knowing what's really there in front of you, the picture clear situation, using your wisdom and your strength to move forward the page of cups. Manifesting into a brand new circumstance, a brand new situation, a brand new um, self-love. It, it's needed, you guys, because this tower is here, the tower, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This is what the tower is causing. Even though, for some of you guys, this is what you really need is a Ten of Cups here. But the Ten of Cups with this person is is, is not coming as healthy because there's someone that's already attached here. For some of you, you already know about this someone, something, because it's caused a lot of pain already. The Nine of Wands and the Sun in the reverse. Ain't no sun shining on that roof anymore. I'm seeing someone crying. Someone is crying from a loss here. This is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a manipulation here. What is the no contact? What is the no contact at this time? For Aries, please. What's the no contact? What's the no contact? All right, so the no contact is the Queen of Swords in the reverse and the Six of Wands. So this person wants to be honored or this is how people see them. This could be a person with that um, has a, some kind of an authority here. Or this is how this you feel that they have over you. Some kind of an authority. I do see this person that's taking your power here. I do feel like whatever it is that you might have tried to set at one point that showed in the reverse. Um, I feel this person really does have an ego here. Okay, they're setting their ways. It's either they were or the no way. The only thing that is going to work to clear yourself or to set yourself free at this point for the no contact and to, to resonate all the way through with you is uh, that you start ma manifesting yourself. But for some of you having a difficult time doing that because the magician is in the reverse. Okay, that's all your, your spiritual um, healing and blessing and movements and prayer and the way that you really tap into the universe, the way that you really tap into the angels, the way that you really tap into the spirits. This is what's, it's a hold back here. Judgment is coming in as I'm coming in to rectify what needs to be taken care of. I'm hearing separation for some of you. I'm hearing court issues. I'm hearing karmic um, behaviors. Been somebody getting their payback for something that they might've done. All right. All right, clarify this judgment. What is this judgment? What is this judgment for the no contact? What is the no contact judgment? Okay, so um, something is over. Something is done here. Um, this could be them. This could be you, passport, or for the situation, or whatever that is. But something is a wrap here. The Ten of Swords in the reverse. Somebody is over. Somebody said, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not crying any more tears. Um, I, I'm filing divorce papers on your ass. Or if you're not married to this person, listen, you're ready to run. Even though I, I, I see this person... Um, trying to change, but not changing in a good way, okay? Uh, I feel like some of you guys, you just really had it. You've kind of had it, um, and you're just ready to just start some a new chapter, uh, but still kind of feeling kind of lost. This is what I'm seeing for the no contact energy, but I'm saying pray, honey, because there's nothing that prayer can't fix, okay? I love you guys to the moon and star. This read again will be attached to another one. It is presently, I'd say... 2 30 in the morning and i'm going to go back to sleep you guys i wanted to do two more reads but i'm i i think that's it for the night i'm going to recharge the energy and then i'll take a couple a couple of hours of sleep wake up in the morning and do it all over again but for now my darlings this is it it again will be attached this read will be attached to another one so stay tuned for that please go ahead and thumbs up your reads um this is how you support your channel my darlings i love you guys so so much 
And if you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. All you have to do is simply leave your initials. Don't leave your initials, you guys, because my comment section is closed until July 31st, okay? Um, if you do need to have a prayer request, it's very simple. All you have to do is email me or text me at the number that you usually text me on when you make an appointment for a personal reading. And let me know that you need to have a prayer request, okay? And I'll do that for you. Just pray for me as I'm praying for you guys. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys. Hi, Aries. Welcome back to your channel. This reading is going to be an overall read. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning to the channel, I welcome you guys back. With open arms. You know you're a diamond shine brought like a diamond. All right, my darlings, I'm going to get into a prayer, okay? Because for the ones that are new here, we do pray. So I'm going to get into that. I'm going to tap into your energy, and we're going to pull these overall messages through. I think I have my microphone in already. Yes, I do. All right, let's get into a prayer, you guys. I hope you guys are having a blessed morning, even noon or night. Wherever that you guys are watching me. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go before you, I ask that you bless myself and I ask that you bless my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. One second, you guys. Uh, let me heal these hands here. Um... I've been having some pain in my left arm for the past, I say for the past couple of weeks actually. Um, and it's been really hurting really bad. Really, really bad, you guys. Really, really, really bad. So, gotta take care of myself, you know? All right, you guys, let's get into a pray. But I did pray already. <laughs> Let's 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 put an angel through here, okay? Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, Aries, let's get an angel here. Just know that this reading is a general one, not a personal one, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does resonate with you and leave the rest. You can pull in your person's energy possible in a future person. Take it how it sits with you. Cross watchers please do the same. Personal readings available on the channel, okay? It's easy to connect to connect with me simply by checking in the description of the video and you'll see how to do so okay the special is ending july 31st you guys so go ahead and get on the special and please go ahead and join the perks all right it's only 4.99 each month and you can cancel at any time um whenever i go live i will be going for channel members only so you might want to go ahead and um, get on that, that join. Hit the join. It's right there, okay? All right. What's the angel here? Ooh. Angel of power. All right. So the angels of power will be the, 20, the 26th angel in line, okay? So thank you, angels of power, for coming to, to assist me with this reading for Aries. We appreciate you dearly. Okay, let me have an angel number, please. What's the number here? Angel number, please. So Aries at this time for the overall energy. What's the message? What's the message here? What's the message? The overall energy. All right, so we have the number 55. Okay. I am evolving. The angels are saying that substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change. A need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. Let go of your fears. You know, I'm 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 not surprised that this came through. Um, where the angels are talking about fear, because whenever I tend to talk about fear on this channel um whenever the messages comes through and it involves a fear a fear of change or a fear whatever whatever it is that you're dealing with that comes through a lot of you guys have a hard time resonating to this fear um but it's just saying that the most most of the time 90 percent of the time 
um, the reason why you may be going through what you're going through or we all go through things. But for some of us, we have a tendency to not want to move away from the things that is toxic. I not want to move away from things that is not serving us anymore. And this is where the fear is coming in. But a lot of you, you don't want to hear that. You don't want to, you, you, you get very offensive. A lot, of, a lot of us, we do get very offensive when, you know, fear comes up in the read. But let's see what the angels are saying here and why this angel number 55 chose to come through, okay? All right, so angel, what's the message here at this time? What's the message at this time, please? What is the message? What is that you need me to share? Tap it into the energy of Aries and their situation for the overall energy, please. What is it that you need me to share at this time? What's the message? <laughs> oh my God. Y'all, look at this. I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to have you guys look at that. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, you see how everything is in alignment, right? The angel number 55, okay? And I'm going to read this again because for some reason, the angel wants me to reread what I just told you guys. The angel number 55 means when someone is evolving, changing, change, okay? Change is what it means, okay? Now, angels are saying substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change and the need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. Feared change, you guys. A bonding shift and leader for some of us um, you either felt like a situation that you've been connected has abandoned you you feel like someone is not there you feel like you're either dealing with something alone here for some of us okay I'm hearing a shift something is changing so whatever it is that you're feeling like is like something is um, being hard or be something being stubborn or something just making you have a mental change of some sort. Angel is saying that there's a shift. There's a shift. Okay, something is changing. However, you're going to have to take the, the leader role, leadership. For this fear to subside, for this fear to go away, for this fear to go back to where it came from. I'm hearing change and i'm hearing leadership okay leadership um i'm hearing for some of you um you might have allowed someone to just take this leadership role for a, a, a very long time and now this change is coming in as get on it get on it balance and truth is coming balance and truth is coming and i'm getting a friend here balance and truth is coming here good karma shall follow you someone is being youthful in the energy playful youthful Hmm. I feel like somebody's walking with a sword here. What is this? Balance and, sh and truth is coming. Someone's about to find something out, learn something out, resonate to something high divine fire. Fast movement, action, and determination. Right there. Fast action, Movement and determination, leadership role. Somebody has either been abused by sadness here, okay, or crying. I'm hearing tears and pain that needs to be let go. Someone needs to be moved. Someone needs to move away from a situation. Your divine is your light. Wisdom is needed. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Tell me more. Long lasting victory. Okay, so effort is needed with this long lasting victory. And just, just let me know this. Uh, that someone is either connected to a soulmate, but yet that soulmate is coming in like, I have unanswered questions here. Someone's either looking for some clarity because something has been painful. A transition. I'm, I'm hearing a transition here. Some someone is either in disagreement with this con with this. Ooh. 
it's painful, you guys. Someone is in disagreement with conflicts here. I'm hearing a five of wands here. Angels is again telling me don't fear the divine love. Something has to end, but you're going to have to make the effort. What is this? Tell me more. Angels. Heavenly Father, tell me more. What's the message for Aries at this time? Self-worth, okay. Action is needed as far as self-worth is coming through, okay. This self-worth is coming in really strong. Ooh, ooh. All right, someone is either dealing with a mental situation. You either have about to have a mental breakdown or it's coming or it has already been there. It's knocking, all right. I'm hearing the vibes here. Painful transition as far as this mental situation is with your soulmate person. I'm hearing deceitful connection of, of lies here. Someone might have made a mistake. High divine and alignment here needs protection. It could be, this could be an, uh, an air energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, your divine hears you, okay? Some is either walking with a curse here or a sickness or some kind of an addiction that needs to be letting go here. Something needs to be letting go, forgotten. Something needs to end. Someone needs to walk into a situation where God is right there waiting for you. Waiting for you, holding your hand, walking you through whatever it is that you're walking through. Angels of power. Number 26. What is this? Tell me more. Angels of power. Okay, so this could be a marriage because I'm hearing married. If this is not you, then someone is connected to a marriage that is connected to you. This person cheats. Married but cheat. All right, so someone is either thinking about rebuilding or something here. Rebuilding my energy. Someone wants to walk away. Someone wants to start over. Past life issues is, is calling for trends. Formation and prayer, okay? And I'm here fearful, fearful or someone is stressed or dealing with depression or worrying or being worried. Loss of energy here. Angels are saying that you're not alone because angels are saying mercy shall follow you here because victory is coming. But you have to hear your divine here and have patience. High divine protection. Someone may have to suffer a loss of some sort. Tell me more. What's the message? Okay, so there's a storm warning in effect here. Something is about to, to come to light. I'm hearing a, a romance here where someone might have been weak or mental. Angel wants you to wait here. Wait on your divine here because there's a secret that's coming in. The secret is already giving you signs that it's coming, so get yourself prepared for that. I'm hearing secret scandal and lies here, okay? Someone either wants to remember love or on this journey or on the journey alone here where the enemy is confided to it. Someone is either um, um, dealing with money issues here, worrying about your future here. But there's possibilities to changes, but there's choices that needs to be made. Angel wants you to reach out to the divine for some of you are not reaching out as much as you should. What is this candle? Okay, so I'm getting a water sign here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Or it could be a uh, an uh, earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here. All right, high divine protection. Someone is lost or losing or something. Soulmate is in worry, in wonders here. So there's a question about this soulmate person. I'm hearing dirty ends of spell. Okay, someone is dealing with witchcraft here. But a fresh start is needed here. There's some kind of a blockage. All is well because new new beginnings are is coming in as an offering from the angels, from your universe, from the guide the guides that's guiding you. What are these questions, please?
Aces of Power. All right, they want you to stay focused, stay focused. Stay focused here because completion is on the way here. All right, and they want you to wash your hands clean because growth is needed. Someone needs to walk away from a situation for sure. Wash your hands clean. The vision, the dream, and the divine is in the present. Okay, for some of you guys, you're trying to find peace with God here. Some of you guys are still tapped up to this painful situation here. That is uh, kind of having your judgment being very blur. High divine of fire here. Ooh. Fast movement, action, determination is needed. Some of this is a stupid. Playfulness. Playfulness, freedom, and happy, okay? But sometimes it takes you have to take time to be serious and know what one really wants here. A loving kindness. Loving kindness is this having me feel like there's some kind of a cycle here. Okay, all is well, secret divine, bloodline. For some of you, you may need to reach out to a family member here. It could be a mother or father or sister that is close to you. Mercy shall follow you. Victory. New start. New start. Um, signs and blockage. Something has to be released here. Two souls tied. All right. So I'm hearing that there's someone that you, is coming in towards you here. This could be someone new. This could be someone from your past. This is a perfect partner here. But for some of you guys, this may be a, a two-soul tie person that may be in separation. Already separation by souls, okay? Maybe you guys are still in love. Yeah, there's a rose that's coming in for this two-soul tie here. Fresh start and love. But I'm also getting fearless here. Fairness and separation. Somebody messed something up here. Um, you take my sadness away. I love you. But let's talk. So someone wants to reconcile something here. Let's see. Guys, those flew. Those cards wasn't wasting any time. Let's get them. Lovers, ooh, two souls, two lovers, twin flame. So for some of you guys, this is definitely a twin flame connection that wants to come back in. This person may want to solidate your peace. This person may just want to come back and just hear your voice because I'm hearing your divine. Hear your divine, okay? Moving on, moving on from the past here. Someone might have lost their energy here, but patience is required. Some, I'm feeling like this. I'm hearing reaching out, okay? Um, remembering love. So someone is either remembering the love that you shared with them or this person is really wanting, trying to reach out to you. But someone has an ego here. Huge one. Past life issues. So whatever, whoever is connected to this twin flame situation, the two lover, twin flame, two souls tied, perfect partnership separated by souls here. Um, this person might have had an ego. And this might be what has caused you guys not to be together right now. Or whatever is going on with the connection. Someone is in the free and clear. What is this two lovers, two soul tie, please? Tell me more. Your divine is your light. Okay, so your divine is your light. Wisdom is needed here. This person is definitely trying to reach out to you. They might already have tried to reach out because they really tap it into your energy as a soulmate type situation. But growth is needed here. Spiritual awakening. Divine intervention. Vision, dreams, and divine. Present. 
Okay. All right, so somebody say, you know what? I'm no longer hungry anymore. Whatever happened between us, I was really angry, but I'm no longer there. Because someone either chose to journey alone here, walking away from the enemy, tapping into their future and their money, growth. Right? The Ten of Pentacles. Cup running over. So someone wants to come back in with victory towards you here. The new relationship is coming in. Trust must be given though. All right. So this person is either ready to trust you or this is you that's ready to give this person trust. Um, because this is a soul connection here. No need to worry here. Action over fear. They again with the fear coming in. Remember love. Remember love. Yeah, this person is definitely reaching out. This person is definitely reaching out. They're ready to talk. There you go, the sun. Love. And this person is free to love you with the light that it comes with. New beginning, fresh start, manifesting your power, your peace, loving each other from the start. To All right, you guys. So my phone just went blank, you guys. It, it, I mean, it just cut off. I thought that I was continuing your read and everything just went blank. Thank you guys. So let me tell you the cards that I pulled because at, at the end of that video, you saw me picking the deck up. So let me tell you the cards that I pulled out. Um, I did get the 10 of wands in the reverse. The Empress came through with the three of cups in the reverse, the two of cups here. And then I did get the fool and I had the eight of swords in the reverse, the page of swords here. And then I did get the ace of wands also. Now, what I was picking up, okay, is a feeling of, what's that? What I did pick up was a feeling of, you guys, someone here is, was holding on to a lot here, okay? There was a lot that was being held on to. Someone tried, um, even though it felt more like a, a, a situation where one was either being overworked or over, over exhausted or just overwhelmed, in general, just overwhelmed. Um, I feel like things just kind of fell apart. Things definitely fell apart with the ten of ones in the reverse. Whatever it is that one was kind of holding on tight to, it definitely fell apart here. Um, and the the thing about the angels of power, the angels of power, the angels of power is having me feel like with you being the empress here, you kind of felt when things fell apart with this ten of ones, you kind of felt right away as if. You know, your entire situation was feeling very unbalanced or it was feeling rather um, unstable or whatever was going on with your on your mental side, your spiritual side, being the empress. Empresses are, are very strong, um, a force to be reckoned with. They know what they want. They know what they truly deserve. All right. And what I feel like you really deserve at one point, you felt like you weren't getting what you might have needed. And it really started to take its toll where things just kind of fell apart, even though you tried to make a situation how someone else wanted a situation to be, but not necessarily you. You were trying to be calm. You're trying to be positive. You're trying to kind of have some understanding only because you, you share a soulmate connection with someone here. Now, Apart from you feeling very overwhelmed and overburdened here, I do feel like you you felt like, you know, you, you just wasn't manifesting anything. You feel like this person didn't sort of celebrate you. You felt like this person didn't care. This person wasn't nurturing. This person wasn't even seeing your worth or your value. Okay, you felt very out of place. You felt very um, unsure and unsafe for this person. But yet... The soulmate connection still lingers here. But someone still take, took a leap of fate here someone kind of took a risk took a chance okay someone took a chance here because someone did not want to release um what they had here but the problem is with this eight of swords being the ear in the reverse it's time that you free yourself honey okay something needs to be let go something needs to be done here something needs to be over with not it, I mean, the choice is yours at the end of the day, but only one knows how much one can take, how much one can tolerate at the nine of swords in the back of the deck, okay? 
So it's all about healing time. It's healing. Someone is about to either end something, stay in focus, focus and ending something here, putting an end to a situation here. Whether it's going to be a situation that one may not be happy with or a choice that's coming in that is needed where one might not be happy with or a solution to a situation where something has to be done. Now we have the page of swords here, okay? So you either I dealt with this person who comes towards you with secrets. You either felt like this person was keeping some kind of a secret. And this is why this eight of swords is in the reverse. There was a lot of secrets that was coming in. But I do see this person as coming, coming in as wanting to talk. Someone wants to talk. Someone wants to either fix the situation here. However, this is a very young type of an energy. Not saying that this person is young, but they're young in energy. And because they're young in their energy... They come in with a feeling of unsurety or be are you being very unsafe if you should. But you're going to know if you should because you're the one that has to free yourself from however this person is bringing or had bring or whatever they're coming with, okay? But there's a time for healing. A time for healing, honey. The healing clock is ticking. Now, we do have the ace of... Of wands here. Now I am here in pregnancy. So if this is not you my darlings. Then this is a someone else. Or something about a child here. Okay. Someone may be pregnant. Thinking about getting pregnant. Or whatever it is. That one may be feeling or thinking. But something has to start over. Someone wants to either start over. This could be you. This could be them. But someone is, is saying. You know what. I really want to start over. I really want something new. A new beginning. For some of you. This could resonate with someone new here. That is coming in. But I already see you healing from a nine of swords here. So let's see. What is the nine of swords and the nine? What is the, the ace of wands and the nine of swords? So the nine of swords is having me. Getting the Ten of Cups here. Oh, oh yes, honey. So something is going to happen. Something amazing is going to happen. When you talk about um, transformation, let's talk about it, boo. Okay, so something really strong is coming in. When I say strong, I mean strong. And you're going to have to get ready for this. However, there's a, a, a part of your life right now that is calling for you to change some things. Some things need to change here. Um, the nine of swords in the reverse. Healing from past damages. All right, so let's give you the benefit of the doubt or your person the benefit of the doubt. Now, if you are deciding to reconnect with your twin flame person, this person will have to be open and honest. This person will have to be ready for this new opportunity, this new beginning, this new chapter of the life. I do see this Ten of Cups here. This talks about new beginnings, first start, happy endings, okay? Well, someone really wants to come in and do this and push it forward with this Ace of Cups. New beginning, everything that comes with new. The Ace of Wands is new. The Ace of Cups is new. Something fresh that needs right, needed right now because someone is tired of being sick and tired, okay? A new love. Um, the Ace of Cups is, is what this person wants to give to you here, What they how they see you, how they value the relationship. Not just valuing the relationship, but valuing the relationship with, with love and nurturing your heart and cherishing your heart and, and having you feeling secure and not having you dealing with fear or stress and bringing joy towards you, okay? This is what I see this doing. I see true hearts here that's coming together as one. Okay, let's clarify this Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups, please. What is the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups here? What is the Ace of Cups and what is the Ten of Cups? Okay, so we have the Strength and then we have the, the Moon here. All right, so something is really um, about to change. Not only is your situation with your relationship is changing... But also your um, security with your with your job situation, with your your finances, with your stability, with how you want to manifest your life. I feel like something is about to change here. But it's your strength is required here. I'm hearing your strength is really required. Just know that whatever it is that you're wanting or needing here, you have the ability to do that. Um, for some of you, you might have lost your way here. Yeah, your spiritual way that is. I do feel like, you know, you might come across some options here moving forward. Um, just don't take the first one. This is what I'm hearing. Rethink the first one and listen to the second and the third. 
here. Use your spiritual knowledge to do that. All right, so we have the nine of pentacles here and, this, and the world. Yeah, so something good. Some good luck is coming towards you here. I see you manifesting a lot of things here. Your peace and your power and your, your word. Okay, you're walking away from this tower here. For some of you, you don't want to have nothing to do with that anymore. And you're making plans. For some of you, are planning on building a house or buying a house or a car or something. All right, anything that comes towards you with baggages, you're moving away from that because I see where you've definitely been hurt before. You've been hurt before because you've trusted. And you felt like you trusted and it, you got a slap in the face, okay? That's blocked, okay? Whatever, whoever is coming towards you with that energy, they will be blocked, Okay, the energy is blocked because see, you're manifesting something new here with the Aerophon here. What is the Aerophon? Please tap it into that energy. What is the Aerophon here? All right, so the Aerophon is it the Tree of Wands? Didn't I tell you, honey? You're making moves here, okay? You're either planning on moving away somewhere, changing location here. For some of you, thinking about long distance here. Um, I do feel like the prosperity is coming to find you. Someone is coming towards you with some kind of an op apology. That's for sure. Okay. This apology is coming. There's a second, cha a second chance though. But just watch out for something under the rug here. Because even though the second chance is coming in, someone may be hiding something under the rug. So be sure you check under that damn rug. Okay. You want to make sure that you check under the rug. Because there's something hiding under there. That's all I'm saying. That's on period. Just make sure you have you you using your third eye for this situation. Because I'm hearing that you might have dealt with something that was very toxic for some of you. All right. Not only did you feel like this person might have been toxic, but this person did lie. And this person was very dishonest here. Um, yeah, you're blocking the bullet. Okay. Um, you, you, you're not, you're not dealing with that anymore because now you see situations for what it truly was and what it really put you through. So you already by now know all the red flags. This is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm hearing. You've thought about it. You've prayed about it. You've, you've, you've manifested this. So now you know. So this person is coming towards you. They better come towards you with clean heart and pure hands. This is what I'm seeing here because it will backfire. Okay. It's going to backfire. Because the clarity that you're needing, you found it. The five of cups. This person's feeling rather ashamed here. Big time. They're very ashamed for what they might have done here. Okay? Angels done whoop they ass. Whoop they ass, honey. The temperance in the reverse. Yeah, somebody got an ass whooping here. Okay? They felt a piece of karma. Somebody felt a piece of karma. And this is why I see this person wanting to come back. Now they know. They know not to play with an airy energy, the King of Cups in the reverse. So, oh, the King of Cups in the reverse and the Justice here. Look at that. Okay, so it's all about um, hiding something here. They're hiding something. I feel like they may be hiding something for some of you in a, in, 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 in a good way. For some of you in a bad way, though. I did something in a good way where... Um, I do feel like they feel like they don't want to hurt you any further. Yes, they're going to tell you some things, but like I told you before, there's certain things that we've been pushed under the rug, but justice will be served because someone's going to get their comment if they hide too much damn garbage under the rug, okay? You're going to know anyway because you've been praying, honey. <laughs> you've been praying and they don't know that you've been praying your ass off, okay? Okay, look at that. The devil in the reverse. So that energy has been blocked. Here, you're not putting up with any more toxicity here and karmic energy here. Okay? You're building your dream. You're, I feel like some of you get ready to buy a house or something. Uh, free yourself from, from mental slavery. Only yourself can free your mind. Continue to build your build your life. All right? Angels got your back, honey. All right? I know that you've been hurt. I know that you feel like you've been juggled big time here. And you have, okay? But I see you freeing yourself here. You're walking into prosperity. You're walking into manifestation. You're walking. You're making a decision and you're pushing. And you're not about to get yourself frustrated anymore or blocked by anyone on their side and being slow. I feel like somebody might have been slow in the energy here. That didn't serve you because I see where you're moving forward here. You're moving forward. You're not going to be juggled anymore. Um, the temperance is here. The judgment is here, okay? No more junk. That's over. Third party situation has been blocked. 
All right, so whatever you guys might have dealt with, you you know about this. You're moving on from that. The King of Swords in the reverse and the Lovers card. All toxicity here. Okay, someone is eating up their own karma here. And being a narcissist didn't work because this Four of Cups is also here. This person is bored as hell. Okay. They bored, honey. They bored. But they, they love you, but they're still bored. Okay. I see where you've nurtured this person. You've loved this person. You've given them everything that you have. The Six of Pentacles here. You're moving forward from what you might have given. Now you're waiting for something to be given back to you here. This person might have taken a lot here. The Five of Pentacles as well. Okay. But I see you blocking whatever that was done to you as far as you giving. With this Knight of Swords in the reverse, okay? You're not doing that. You're not You're not falling for nothing. Nothing, anything, anything slow. You're not falling for anything that comes to us with conflicts and anything like that, okay? You're blocking that. Tell me more. Okay. Look at that. So we have the fact that we have the, the, oh my goodness. I cannot believe this. The Knight of Swords, okay? So I do feel like this person really wants to come in as I want to fight for you this time around. Okay. I want to fight for you. I do feel like for some of you, you're like, I don't want to give this, you know what, Juliana, I don't want to give this person any more chances. I already given this person chances, but you know what? Just remember what angels came true for you earlier. This was the angel of power. Okay. So whatever is going on here. You will never, and I repeat, you will never let anyone take this away from you, your power. Never, okay? So the decision is yours to make, but just be sure that you're manifesting your decision in, this, in, in accordance this time around, okay? Put God first and let him go to work. All right, my darlings, this is going to be your read um, for the night. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit, um, I want to have some tea, you guys. If I have my tea and then I regain the energy, then I will come. I'll do a little cleansing first and then I'll come back and I'll give you guys another read real quick. Otherwise, um, this is going to be the only one for the night. I do have some other reads that I did upload yesterday and some of them I will attach to other reads. But stay tuned for those, my darlings. I love you guys so, so, so much. If you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know simply by texting me or sending me an email, okay? I will again open the comment section um, at the end of the month, which is, I'll open it August 1st, you guys. Um, for this rest of the month, it will be closed, but you can always contact me using my email or texting me at the phone number that you see down below, okay? Pray for me as I will be praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.